Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here with a bonus video for you. Is it a semi-short bonus video? Is it a super short bonus video? I, I don't even know anymore. All I know is that it's a bonus video, and that bonus video is gonna be on Sako Energy Drink. What's Sako? It's coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button and post new videos every Tuesday night. If you'd like to show additional support for the channel, I started a Patreon. You can find that link down below. And in today's video, going to be going over Sako Energy Drink. And I'm actually going to tell you a decent amount about this drink, go over a little bit about the ingredients, finish it off with a taste test, timestamps down below so you can go where you want to go. Now, how many of you have actually heard of Sako Energy Drink? Because a lot of people actually haven't heard of it. And, and truth be told, I actually didn't know about it and, and I wouldn't have it if it wasn't for Energy Drink Josh. Energy Drink Josh is on Instagram and he posts pictures almost every single day of different energy drinks. And I actually found him because he posts so many pictures of energy drinks that it was actually a very valuable resource. So I could scroll through there and say, oh, what's that? I should review it. So if any of you actually ever doubt me that I'm actually gonna run out of content someday, just go to Josh's Instagram page. Even if you don't doubt me, just go to Josh's Instagram page and just start scrolling through. I guarantee each and every one of you will see an energy drink that you, that you haven't heard of because Josh catalogs them all. So energy drink Josh sent me this drink because it's his favorite drink and he wanted to get my opinion on it. Now we don't always agree on which drinks taste best when it comes to specific flavors in an energy drink line, but we can usually agree if a specific brand is good or not, we just like different flavors in the line. Plus with all the energy drinks that he's tried, I mean, this one's gotta be good. I believe in Josh. The problem is you can't actually find it in many places. Their main office is located in Arizona, so they actually have a huge presence in Arizona. But after that, there's only one state that I that I saw, because they have a store locator, but there's only one other state that I saw that carries the drink, and that's in Iowa. There's actually a convenience store called Yes Way. <laughs> no way. Yes Way. And all the Yes Ways carry it. But besides those two states, Star Locator doesn't show anywhere else on the US map, but at least you can easily pick it up on Amazon. What? Is, is not on Amazon? How are they not on Amazon? Well, apparently they're not on Amazon, so pretty much the only place you can get this drink is Arizona, Iowa, or on their website. And, and there may be some other third party websites that buy energy drinks from everywhere and then sell them off individually. But besides that, you, you gotta go to their website and buy them. So the question is, how is this new company going to grow if they're not even on Amazon and only in two states? Well, well, hold on a second. Who said this was a new energy drink? Sako was actually founded in 2003. Yeah, 2003. That makes this company 17 years old. I mean, that's right around the same time that Monster came out and right before Full Throttle. But the Bliss Beverage Company, the company who makes Sako, didn't really gain any steam until 2006 when Hulk Hogan was put on the can. And when you got Hulk Hogan as a sponsor, you're going to start selling yourself some drinks, at least back then. Because now you're going to be getting your drink into the hands of tons of wrestling fans. It was a different can though. And from what I heard, it actually tasted a little bit different than the original Sako. And eventually the Hulk Hogan drink went away, leaving Sako with its original flavor for people in Arizona and wrestling fans. And it was still going strong until like around 2010, 2011. And then that's where the history gets just a little bit fuzzy because, because when you do your research on these things, you find different articles. And in 2016, I'll put it right here, BevNet showed a news release that Sako was releasing its new drink and that the Sako Beverage Company was founded in 2015. But it's the same exact logo and the same exact can. So what's going on here? I'm guessing they either renamed the company or sold the company from the Bliss Beverage Company to the Sako Beverage Company, or maybe they renamed it from the Bliss to the Sako to maybe show that it was revamped and say that it's a new energy drink, or, or they did just sell the company to somebody else. I, I, I don't know. What I do know is they got 243 followers on Instagram and they got 54 followers on Twitter. One of them being Josh and another one being Energy Supply Company, who's not even in business anymore. Energy Supply Company. If you didn't know, that was an energy drink box program that sent out energy drinks and, and, and they got to a point where they were just sending out stuff no one's ever heard of because I think they ran out of drinks. Unlike a zero pack, who sends you out five sugar-free energy drinks, all brand names, good stuff. Talk about it in a little bit. So why don't we just go ahead and take a look at the ingredients. 
Please note that this can is two servings per can, not one. So apparently Sako hasn't gotten the memo yet that, 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 that you just sell one can. Uh, everyone's switching over to one serving per can because, because no one's gonna put it in their fridge and drink it later because it tastes bad. I would know because I do it, but no one else really does that. But because I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna double all the numbers for you guys so, so you don't have to uh, do math. I, I mean, I don't like doing math, but I do it for you guys. So it's got 100 and th 260 calories in it, zero fat, 140 milligrams of sodium, 64 grams of carbs, and 62 grams, what? Is that right? 62 grams of sugar in this thing? Wow, they really must have come out in 2003 because those, that, those, these, oh, those are, those are rock star sugar numbers. That's more than Monster, that's more than Red Bull, and it's just about as much as Rockstar puts in their original drinks. That's a lot of sugar. Josh, what are you doing to me? And 200% or more of your B vitamins. It does use pure cane sugar, which is supposed to be a touch healthier for you out of all the sugars, but at 62 grams, it is, no, no. It's not gonna be any healthier for you. That's too much. And it does have a lot of your basic standard energy drink ingredients in it, but there are some special ones to make note of. And those are Demonia leaf extract, Guarana seed extract, Yerba Mate extract, and Panax ginseng extract. The Guarana and Yerba Mate are gonna give you some natural caffeine, as well as some antioxidants and other minor health benefits. The Panax ginseng probably isn't gonna do much for you. It is supposed to be for cognitive functions, but they put very little in there, similar to what Monster does. They put it in there, but it really doesn't do much because it's so low on the ingredients list. It's not an effective dose. It's also used for lots of other medical purposes, including erectile dysfunction, but, but I'm sure you're not drinking it for that. Which leaves the Damiana leaf extract. And the very first thing, the very, very first website that I went to, this is what I found. Yep. This is the medical website that I use for a lot of my information. It's the one that I usually start with, and then I'll refer to many other websites if I need to, but this was the first one that I went to, and this was all the information that this medical website had on it. I'm not even gonna read it. Hopefully you guys have been reading it while I'm talking. If not, I'm gonna pause for a second so that you can read it. Yep, yep, right, mm-hmm. Exactly. If you're not done reading yet, I'm gonna to continue to talk so you can pause it right now if you wanna keep reading, but you should be done reading it by now. Thanks a lot, Josh. I mean, you know, one of the many health benefits of Panax ginseng does make for a good joke, but this, this is just blatant. And, and Josh, it's your favorite drink, huh? Guess I know why. And those are your ingredients in this drink. So why don't we go ahead and let's taste it out, and then I'll go see how my wife's doing. Just gonna grab it from my zero pack fridge, which I did mention a little bit earlier. Zero pack is five sugar-free energy drinks delivered to your door every month. These are name brand energy drinks. I will post a picture over here like I usually do just to show you what they look like. Those were a couple of the boxes from the last few months. And every month I do a live stream unboxing of these drinks. So if you wanna know more about these drinks, you can go to the zeropack.com or feel free to watch one of my live streams. It's a good time. If you want to join in one of those live streams, it's going to be coming up shortly. You have until the end of the month, the 31st, get in on this program because if you order before the 31st, you'll be registered for the first of the month on the next month. If you'd like to save 20% off your box program, use coupon code Caffeine Man. And here is a picture of the can. Whoa. You like energy drinks. You will buy more energy drinks. You are not getting sleepy because energy drinks do not make you sleepy. You will go to my Patreon to become a mega caffeine. No, 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 no. Only do that if you want. But if you'd like to become a caffeine, you can help support the channel for as little as $1 or more. Ooh, there we go. We got some bright green color there. My goodness, that's a, that's a, it's got a little yellow in there, but it's fluorescent. That's what that color is. That is close to fluorescent. And that, that does not make sense. Put it up on the screen, person who does the editing, which is me. No word of a lie, for food coloring, it uses blue number one. That is not blue number one. Trust me, that is, you guys know that's not blue number one. Who, who am I kidding? Let's just taste it out.
Josh. Come on, Josh. Have you secretly been trolling me all these years? Uh, two years? Uh, almost two years? Or are we just going to be in disagreement on this drink? The problem is they don't have any other flavors for us to agree on. But this has, I, I, mm, I was so distracted by the flavor, that, um, that carbonation. I think it was a medium to medium high carbonation. Hold on. Yeah, I say medium to high carbonation. The sweetness for having 62 grams of pure cane sugar in it is medium to high. And uh, I, I want to say medium because the flavor is just being pulled back by something else. I can't really describe. It's, um, I, I could. It's a bad flavor. Um, and I would say it's giving you a medium to high, close to high on that flavor. Uh, at first, I thought it was like a little bit citrusy. But it's got this aftertaste to it that's just not pleasant at all. And it makes me have to relook at the ingredients to see if there's like stevia or monk fruit in here because my taste buds don't react well to that. Yeah, no, I don't see anything in there. So it's either one of the uh, natural or artificial flavors that's in there, or maybe even that Demonia leaf extract that's giving you this taste. And you know, it wasn't it wasn't overly bad when I first started sipping it, but that aftertaste is that's just kind of nasty. I mean, that's yeah, I don't know. I mean, if anything, I'd have to say maybe it's a, a touch citrusy, but. But yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say about it um, because, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I do want to say thank you to Josh for sending me this drink, but I think we're going to have to agree to disagree on this. And when I put it on the Caffeine Man rating chart, you're going to say, well, how bad was it? And this, this has potential to be one of the drinks that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm potentially going to be doing a collab with Opera Man. And we're gonna do something similar to the Gigi one, which is the energy drink dare challenge, where we dare each other to try to try bad drinks and see who wins, to see who gets the other person the worst drinks. And this this is in competition for it. It's not terrible, terrible. Um, at first it's okay, but that aftertaste is really what gets you. So um, on the caffeine man rating chart, I am gonna give this a 4.7. And I'll include some of the other drinks on the Caffeine Man rating chart as well. I always include other drinks on the Caffeine Man rating chart. But I'm going to include some of the lower ones so that you can see some of where, where some of the lower ones are as opposed to like putting all the 8s and the 9s up there. But I'll give you a good a smorgasbord of different drink flavors and show you where this one is and what it's under. I'd probably drink a Monster before I drink that. Let's wrap it up. So that is my review on Sako Energy Drink. I want to thank Energy Drink Josh for sending it to me to try out. Unfortunately, we don't agree on the flavor. Our taste buds must just be a little bit too different. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other energy drinks that we both agree on because we do actually agree on a decent amount of drinks. We just don't agree on them all. And like I said, if you're looking to find a new energy drink or a different energy drink, you'll probably find it on his page. Let's see if we can get him a few more followers because as of recently, I just I just barely passed him and we kind of had this unspoken competition going back and forth where I was catching up to him, he was catching up to me, and, and I just passed him. So, so if you guys want to help him out a little bit, they'll put the pressure back on me to get some more followers. A little healthy competition never hurt anybody. So until next time, thank you so much for joining me. Have yourselves a great day. Or night. Which leaves the Demania. Demania? Demon? Dem Damiana? 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 Damiana. Damiana? I like Damiana. It could be Damiana though. Like Damien. It looks like Damien with an A. So it would be Damiana. But it really sounds like it should be Damiana. Damiana? Damiana. I could look it up. Eh, I'm going to take the 50 50. Go with my gut. Say Damiana. And if you want to show additional support, I can't say additional support. If you can't say additional support, additional support. Honestly, I tried it last video. I couldn't do it. I had to say if you'd like to show more support. But even show more support, it's, it's the support word. I don't know what it is. I can't. I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it.
I'm gonna get it this very next time. No more outtakes on this. I got this. If you'd like to show additional support, if you'd like to show additional support for the channel, I started a Patreon. You can find that link down below. See, I did it. I told you I was gonna do it. It's gonna focus additional support.